Hi everybody, I'm here to talk about Gary Owens. Uh, my name is Joshua Valse, and I'm the president and one of the creators of a dinosaur show called Jurassicon. I'm also a field paleontologist. I hunt for more dinosaurs. In fact, in my hand is a fossil of one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus rex. Um, this is a tooth shard. And the reason why I'm holding this is because of those dinosaur shows that Eric and Gary used to do back in the 80s. Uh, if they were hunting for more dinosaurs or even prehistoric monsters, uh, that inspired me to pursue this field and become the person I am today. Um, and speaking of the shows, that's the reason why we're here at this location in particular, the Tarpits. Go. If you're like me, you grew up with Gary as a child watching the dinosaur shows. He was the Garyosaurus. Uh, but his career was huge. He was everywhere. Uh, computer games, theme parks, television, and radio. In fact, at the age of 16, he got his first gig in radio in his home state of South Dakota. Uh, we put together a slideshow, in fact, to kind of highlight his most prominent roles in these areas. Gary became one of the most famous and popular DJs in broadcasting history. Over the decades, he ended up hanging with icons from the music industry including everybody from Sinatra to Little Richard, from Dolly Parton to Ringo. His popularity back in the 60s led to appearances on TV shows, including The Munsters and Batman. Then came Laughing. That's what my parents' generation remember him from. The guy with his hand on his ear announcing, from beautiful downtown Burbank. He also appeared, or was the announcer, on lots of variety shows. He often did bits with Jonathan Winters, and they became longtime friends. He was also one of the go-to guys if you needed an MC or announcer at live events like award shows and charity functions. It's hard to come up with a famous name in movies and television that Gary hadn't spent some time with. Then, of course, there's the cartoon voices. Here he is with the legendary Mel Blanc. Gary seemed to excel at clueless superheroes, from Space Ghost to Powdered Toast Man. Back when the dinosaur shows were on the Disney Channel, Gary could be heard every week on Bobby's World and Garfield and Friends. Uh, he was doing countless commercials and television promotional spots. If you watched TV at all back then, it was hard not to hear his voice. I could go on and on and on, but that's what IMDB is for. So if you're ever curious, go and check out his page. We're now here in Hollywood, and Gary kept working till just a few months ago. In fact, you can still hear his voice on Antenna TV. He then did new voiceovers for the Garyosaurus, so we can give you more dinosaur updates and more dinosaurs. And uh, one more thing, if you're ever on Hollywood Boulevard, uh, pay a visit to Gary. He's actually here on the 6700 block. He's right next to Betty White, Walt Disney. Really good company.